hello, hello. Today I wanted to share what I'm up to in my art practice. Basically, I am taking some of my old abandoned experiments and drawings and photocopies of things in my sketchbook and I'm using them as a starting point for some collages and some paintings and some drawings and I'm really just seeking. I'm looking for inspiration and I'm looking for new ideas. So I just thought I'd take you with me as I do that and share this process with you which I use really frequently because I find it really helpful and hopefully you might find it interesting and, and helpful for your own art practice and your own art making. to share with you a way that I often try and find an entry point or a doorway or a line of inquiry in my art and that is by taking off cuts, abandoned experiments, pieces that I've worked on and seeing if I can reimagine them, recreate them into something else and I make these kind of temporary collages where I'm just playing around with moving bits of paper around and seeing if I can discover something new. So all of these pieces of paper have got, I guess, my marks on or drawings or photocopies from bits of my sketchbook. And I have a big pile and I'm just seeing if anything comes to me when I rearrange them, when I put them together in a different combination. This piece here was in my sketchbook and it was this way up, but actually I really like it this way. And so I'm just using things that I've already created that have got my mark and some of my art on and bringing them together in a different way and just seeing if I can create something that I find interesting, pleasing, and often it might be a combination of two different patterns that I would not necessarily have ever put together, but because they're on pieces of paper and I can move them about, it just allows me to see things slightly differently. And so what I might do is play around with it for an hour and take different photographs and different things in different places and see if anything appeals to me. And then I might use the photographs as a starting point for something else. And so I'm not even creating a permanent collage here, I'm creating a kind of temporary collage, taking a photograph of it and then using the photograph. So I'm not actually even sticking all these things down. Now if I find, if I create something that I just think is absolutely beautiful, I might stick it all down, but this is just kind of a quick easy way for me to find things out, discover, play, be experimental. And I'm really just wanting to find an entry point. <laughs> I'm trying to generate something new from something I've already got. So these are the studies that I created yesterday from a photograph of the collaged pieces. So I took a photograph and then I just worked from the photograph. And these were very quick, acrylic paintings, just studies really, a kind of quick response and then I did a couple of drawings in my sketchbook and then a slightly neater drawing on a piece of paper. So these all came yesterday from that initial pile of pieces and none of these are finished works but I'm just exploring, I'm wanting to find something that excites me and sometimes when I do these kind of quick paintings, it can be just a tiny bit of the painting. So I'm really liking some of the ways in which I scraped off the acrylic paint here on this pot. I'm also really enjoying the shapes that I've created here, this kind of combination of squares and circles and, and lot with lines through. So sometimes on a painting like this, not a complete accomplished painting, but there are moments within it that I really like and I will take forward. And I think that's the thing about art making. There's, it's often following a breadcrumb trail. So I'll do one thing that leads to another thing that leads to another thing. And I think that's what's quite interesting and exciting about art making. So I, I rarely sit down just with a canvas 
and start a painting there's a whole runway <laughs> of things that I try and do beforehand to really develop an idea to push ideas and so some of these drawings I mean they're a bit busy but there are things within it that I'm loving I'm really loving this juxtaposition of patterns here so there are you know there are little clues and signposts here that I can take forward so a pile of scraps and a collage and some offcuts have given me a stepping stone to something else, which will give me a stepping stone to something else. So I don't know where these are going, but there's something about the colour combinations here that I'm really loving. Whenever I'm doing these kind of little quick studies and, and experiments, after I've done them, I want to kind of be a bit more analytical, I guess. So in the moment, I'm sort of just enjoying the painting but then afterwards I might want to do a little bit more reflection. I think art making can be a kind of oscillate between thinking and not thinking, thinking and not thinking and after I've done them I like to look at them and sort of assess a little bit and take note of the things that I'm enjoying and it doesn't have to be the whole thing, it can just be a moment or a passage or something that will then I will take forward into the next so that's really how I am starting, how I'm trying to find my next, you know, obsession, I guess, my next set of fascinations. I'm starting with a pile of offcuts and hoping that I can create something, that I can generate something new from something discarded. So I just wanted to share with you another way in which you could take this idea of creating collage to inspire a painting. And this is on a much smaller and different scale. So the pieces that I was showing you earlier were sort of large, it's probably an A2 collection of offcuts and pieces of my artwork. And that's easy for me because I've got lots of bits lying around, you know, I'm a full-time artist, so I have lots of, um, of discarded sort of pieces from my art practice. But you could take that theory and um, do it on a completely different scale. So here is a tiny little collage that I've made from pieces in a magazine. So really just going through an old magazine and cutting out elements of pattern and, and seeing if I can create something that I find visually interesting from the scraps of the magazine. So this was the tiny little collage that I created and then I've painted that using acrylic paint. So painting a collage, collaging a painting, drawing a painting, painting a drawing, these are things that I do really frequently in my art practice. So just taking something that I've created and exploring it in a different medium, recreating it in a different way, just always wanting to kind of nudge it forward a little bit to find out things. So that's just another example of really taking a collage and using it to inspire a painting. <laughs>